okay welcome back everybody and once again we have the uh, we're still looking at the hydrocarbon problem that we've been dealing with in the past couple of videos in in this problem we're gonna do something different this prob uh, this video deals with um, setting the uh, we're gonna be setting the pressure that our column is gonna be operating at so for the majority of distillation columns um, a total condenser is used to fully condense the distillate and the distillate goes through an accumulator where with the help of a pump the product is withdrawn and uh, a fraction of the product is sent back as reflux now a couple of considerations when that go into determining the uh, pressure at which we're going to operate our column so for this total condenser right here the cooling utility that we want to use is water water readily available cheap and the temperature the normal temperatures at which water is available is typically around 90 fahrenheit it might vary depending on your location but like 90 plus minus 10 is usually like the temperature at which you're gonna obtain cooling water now as a uh, total condenser is basically a heat exchanger so you're gonna have your uh, let's say your distillate is coming at the top and your condenser your cooling utility is flowing counter current now water enters at 90 Fahrenheit and it's gonna exit at a higher temperature now usually if the temperature of cooling water exceeds 120 Fahrenheit this leads to problems uh, at temperatures above 120 Fahrenheit the solubility of the various salts like calcium carbonate uh, calcium oxide etc uh, increase so at at higher temperatures uh, minerals and salts are highly soluble in water and this can lead to fouling in the condenser so so in order to av avoid fouling and in order to be able to use water as a cooling utility in the first place the distillate must be uh, like the uh, saturation the bubble temperature of the distillate must be manipulated by manipulating the pressure so that's the uh, principle upon which the pressure of a column is set at whatever pressure it's operating at the pressure should be manipulated such that the distillate enters at a temperature of roughly around 120 Fahrenheit so if the distillate is entering at a temperature of 120 Fahrenheit uh, at a bubble temperature of 120 Fahrenheit then the uh, exit temperature of water cannot exceed 120 therefore cooling water can be safely used also if the uh, temperature of the distillate is below the temperature of cooling water then there is like no point in using cooling water as a cooling utility since you won't be have you won't be able to cool down something with water that's at a higher temperature so to sum it up to set the pressure of column the first thing that you have to do is find the compositions of distillate the second thing that you have to do is uh, assume bubble temperature of 120 Fahrenheit And the third thing is perform we'll have to perform a bubble pressure calculation okay 
now performing the uh, bubble pressure calculation we're gonna like in order to get a shortcut estimate you can just go ahead and assume Raoult's law or if you want to be more accurate you can use activity coefficient models to get a better idea uh, in this uh, uh, for our problem, we'll just be going with Raoult's law since we're just doing a shortcut calculation. So the pressure of the condenser equal to the summation of the compositions in the distillate times their saturation pressure at a temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the equation uh, you want to solve. And once again, you can get the uh, saturation pressures from Antoine equation. So for this particular problem, um, let me just like list out the flow rates real quick. Once again, propane, butane, hexane, and oops, pentane, my bad. Our flow rates, mole flows, our mole fractions, and our saturation pressures. So, propane was found to be 23.75 moles, butane 1.25. Pentane 0 0.005 and hexane 0 0.00002. And if you find, convert these to mole fractions, you'll get mole fraction of propane to be 0 0.9498, mole fraction of butane to be 0 0.0499, mole fraction of pentane to be 0 0.002, and mole fraction of hexane to be uh, virtually zero. Now, the saturation pressures were found in units of atmospheric pressure using the Antoine's equation. For propane, the saturation pressure was found to be 16.1 atm. For butane, it was found to be 14.74, um, 1.52 atm for hexane, and 0 0.511 atm for uh, hexane. So using the above equation, the pressure of our column was found to be and I just performed this uh, I have an Excel right here that I use to perform these calculations and the final answer comes out to be 15.5 atmosphere that's the pressure at which you're going to be operating your column Okay, so once you have the uh, pressure at the the pressure at which you want to set your column, uh, a number of other variables that you can find. So, assuming that there is no um, assuming that there is no pressure drop from tray to tray, let's assume that this entire column is operating at a pressure of fifteen point five atm we can use that pressure to find the uh, temperature of the bottoms yeah so the pressure of the column once you know the pressure of the column you can calculate the temperature of the bottoms assuming you know the composition of the bottoms that have already been found So in order to find the temperature of the bottoms, in order to get an accurate uh, value for that, you will have to know the, uh, so it's basically a flash calculation. You know, need to know the liquid flow rate, you need to know the vapor flow rate, and if for that you need to know the uh, what's happening inside the uh, column. But to get an upper estimate of the uh, bottoms temperature, an upper estimate, you can perform a dew point calculation. So, 
so your dew pressure is going to be equal to the pressure at which you're operating your column and you know the uh, the compositions of the distillate will be used as the uh, compositions of the vapor so um, for a dew pressure calculation if you remember this is the equation that you try to solve and assuming Raoult's law this comes out to be y i and p is obviously the pressure of the column So this is a non-linear equation that you'll have to solve in order to find the uh, temperature of the bottoms. Y is the uh, compositions for the mole fractions of the bottoms product. Now uh, you might be wondering, wait a second, why is the supposed to be the mole fraction vapor phase? Well, like I said, like if you want like an actual number for the uh, temperature of the bottoms, you'll have to do a flash calculation. But to make things a lot simpler, we're just getting the uh, upper limit on the uh, bottoms temperature by just performing a dew point calculation on what we know instead of performing extra work. However, if you perform a uh, flash calculation using the uh, vapor to liquid fraction, and using the compositions um, of the liquid coming in, then you'll get a much more accurate answer. So uh, we'll just we'll continue in the next video to find the uh, temperature at which our uh, reboiler, our bottoms are operating at.